we come now to this table, to a time when we remember that on this journey, this lifelong journey of faith, we are fed on the way by these gifts that sustain us with the love of Christ. So as we prepare to come to this table, I invite you to join me in the prayer of confession. The words are included in your worship from home resource. In this time of light and peace, we yearn for the courage to proclaim your name for all to hear. Guide us into your light and give us confidence to proclaim your name. Grant us the grace to truly understand the blessings you have brought into our lives. In your holy and wonderful name we pray. Amen. And hear these words of assurance. Through faith in Christ, approach God with freedom and confidence, for you will find acceptance there. We are forgiven. Amen. So, of course, that baby born in a manger, that toddler that the Magi met, grew up to be a man. He taught his disciples. He showed us the ways of love. And as they journeyed with him, he knew that their time together was coming to an end. And so when they were gathered together around the table celebrating the Passover meal, Jesus took bread. And after giving thanks for it, he broke it. And he gave it to them saying, take and eat. This is my body broken for you. Eat and remember. And in the same way, after supper, he took the cup. And after giving thanks for it, he gave it to them and said, Drink of this, all of you. This is the cup of the new covenant. It's my blood poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. Would you pray with me? Gracious God, receive the gifts that we bring today. And as we partake of these elements, whatever they are in our homes now, bless them. Feed us with them. May the bread satisfy our hunger. May the cup quench our thirst so that we might continue our journey with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So friends, this is the body of Christ broken for you, and this is the blood of Christ shed for you. Amen.